Dang. Bills 10k? <laughs> yeah, so as far as TikTok NPCs go, this is probably the best outcome. Now, if you don't know anything about this, I've got some bad news. TikTok NPCs are real. They shouldn't be, but they definitely are. Now, it might be a regression in evolution, but it also does pay very well. You win some and you lose some, but unfortunately, for the guy we're talking about today, he might be losing more than winning. You've seen him at the start of the video. It's the Miles Morales one. And in fairness to him, if nothing else, he has been around for a while. Hey, thanks for the- Hey, thanks for the- Hey, thanks for the rose. Anybody heard that? Hey, thanks for the- yeah, he looks very tired. We should probably let him go home. Or not, because to be fair to him, he might just be playing a character really well. And there's a twist later on that definitely plays into this idea. This guy might be playing 4D chess, which if he is, I've got to respect him. But at the same time, some of these clips are so sad that I feel like he can't be. I don't know, man. I wish I had a script to read off, but unfortunately I don't. So we are going to find out now. Drop a like or you're getting fired tomorrow and you're going to have to do this for a living. And to be honest, I don't care about the money. I'm not wishing that on my worst enemy. Me. Now, Miles, in fairness to him, he's not the first. I'm sure you don't want to be reminded, but there was that pinky doll that went viral. I can't even remember when, to be honest. It all kind of swirls into one. But she kind of walked so everybody else could run. Yum, ice cream so good. Yum, ice cream so good. Now, we didn't appreciate it at the time, but she was definitely cooking. Not because of what she was doing on camera, purely because she was doing it inside. When you're in the house, people can't swarm you. And unfortunately, Miles kind of found this one out the hard way. In fact, full transparency, swarming him is probably the nicest thing people did. Y'all, I found another NPC in public. <laughs> Too much corn and I might turn into the corn kid. Thank you for the flowers. I'll give those to Peter. The now, he's been caught up a couple times and he's been involved with like normal people and the police. There is that one clip of him running away from the police and it was probably a stupid thing to do. American police, you know, not the most understanding people. I live in the UK and they might start shooting at me from Florida for that comment alone. But it is a funny clip and this is where he started to pop off. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Nah, I'ma do my own thing. He takes risks, but they do pay off. And they're paying off at the moment. I mean, for a guy that just says phrases into a camera, he's hit some pretty high heights. Yo, 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 yo. What do you do for a living, bro? The fuck, the big shit. This is a nice car. I'ma do my own thing. Unfortunately, this was the height. I mean, after this, it kind of went downhill. And granted, it was always going to go downhill, but I do think he might actually be losing his mind, which is natural, by the way. If you're doing what he's doing for a living, it's going to weigh heavy on your brain. It's fundamentally easier than a real job, but it is more insane. And I mean, don't take my word for it. Just take his actions. I mean, side note, just take off the jacket. There is no reason you should be sweating that much. There's 11,000 people in here. There's 11,000 fucking people in here. And you guys are not tapping the screen, okay? Make sure that you're tapping the screen. There's 11,000 people in here. There's 11,000 fucking people in here, okay? Tap the goddamn screen, okay? Tap the goddamn screen. Okay, you see this button right here? Press the fucking button. Okay, press the fucking button. He's humble and uh, he appreciates his fans. So what could go wrong? It is wild. Like he must be so reliant on these donations that the second they dry up, he just goes crazy. It almost feels like an addiction. Like the minute his supply dries up, he just starts fiending. Now in fairness, he's making a lot of money. So I should probably take notes. I'm going to start doing this with subscribers. There are 11 people watching this video and you're not pressing a button. And don't worry, I am profusely sweating. Like you can't see it, but you're going to have to take my word for it. But that aside, like no matter how easy you think this job is this guy is actually in the trenches day in day out let's not do that again wow is that a galaxy wow is that a galaxy enough of those i might make it back to my own universe this clip is just indescribably sad. It could be the music, it could be the empty street, or it could just be his face. But I feel sorry for him, you know? Not enough to give him money, but Whoa. Let's get this party started. Thanks. I can use it. I mean, I might be wrong, but this guy must stink. There is no way he has time to dry clean a suit every day. With the amount he's sweating, there's no avoiding it, really. To be fair, that might be why the street is empty. I was pretty thirsty. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've seen thirsty guys on TikTok, but that might be the thirstiest. And by the way, somehow this did keep getting worse. It got to the point where you could just audibly hear him behind the camera hating his life. And up for those that might make it back to my own universe. You know what, he might need perspective because it could be a lot worse. And by the way, there is a big chance this is fake. I mean, when your whole business is just being outrageous and getting attention, it's kind of implied. But there's an old clip that apparently, people don't know for sure, but apparently shows him in his old job. And even back then, before the NPC stuff, he was still good at getting clicks. No! This Domino's pizza guy is really upset about his last delivery. What follows next is an epic meltdown. So I hadn't seen this confirmed, but I've just seen his TikTok hat in the top left. So this is definitely him. And he was cooking because this did go viral. But now that we know that it's fake, it's kind of a different story. I wasn't having the best day. I spoke to 23-year-old Malik Ambersley of St. Petersburg, Florida. During the pandemic, you know, things like tips and stuff like that are important for me to be able to feed, you know, my family and, and uh, you know, myself and try to keep a roof over my head. But you were not fired. And uh, no. No, I well, looking back, he might have wished as he was. The butterfly effect is crazy, and as we've seen, well, it's led him to be something that I think none of us could ever imagine we would be. So many of these videos I make, it feels like I'm seeing people selling their soul in real time. And this is definitely the case with Miles. Like, again, money aside, there is just an endless stream of reactions and videos of him just looking like he's suffering. At this point, we might need to intervene. Get to a million likes, bro. Get to a million likes, bro. Get to a million likes, bro. I don't care if there's 1K motherfucking people in here, bro. Get to a million fucking likes, bro. Yeah, this might be a problem. <laughs> like, this doesn't even need to apply just to TikTok NPCs. But people have done the maths with this guy, and it looks like he's earned 20 grand on some days, which is absolutely mental. But then you project it forward, and you realize any day that he's not making 20 grand, well, it's going to feel like a waste of a day. It sounds stupid, but it is kind of how it works. If I get a video of 100K, and then the next day I get a video of 1K, without that video that hit 100K, I would probably be happy with the video of 1K. But it is all relative and when you're on that downward spiral it probably feels pretty rough and just when you thought it couldn't get any worse it actually did your, your oh, those hurts to me i don't want to interrupt the content anything let's get some let's get some content man. hey man, it's me miles morales it's me miles morales <laughs> I can do it better, thanks, man. Thanks, man. All right, you, you gotta go a lot higher. Ooh, I love yeah, so when you project your location to the internet in real time, that can really only go bad. He got robbed and they stole basically everything but his suit. Ooh, I love this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know if that is hilarious, but I can respect someone that does laugh through the tears. But you weren't laughing for long, and you can probably understand why. You won. You won. You won. As you guys know, last night, I got fucking robbed. Fucking robbed. Um, I'm gonna try to do this in one take, because I'm really angry right now. I'm, I'm, I'm really fucking angry. There is probably a Spider-Man joke in there somewhere. But I'm not gonna lie, I think it might be impossible to make one of those without it sounding very corny. It be your own fucking people, bro. Your own fucking people fucking with you, bro. Your own fucking people fucking with you, bro. And I'm really trying not to dislike certain types of people, bro. I'm really trying not to, bro. He said he's trying not to, but he definitely thought about that for a long time there. And he kept spitting. I'm trying to find something of value in here, but I haven't found it yet. But literally, I cannot do this shit no more, bro. I'm trying to be the best streamer for you guys, bro. My dream is to be one of the best content creators. Do YouTube, do Twitch, do any, all this fucking shit, right? And I can't fucking do that when you guys are fucking with me every fucking time I go fucking live, bro. Every fucking 
fucking time. His frustration is kind of understandable, but then you quickly realize that if he was serious about this, he could just stream inside. Basically, every other NPC streamer does, so I don't see the point he's trying to make here. If you don't want to get robbed, then maybe don't stream your location to the internet. If it's happened once, then you've really got to kind of learn your lesson. But he didn't. If anything, he actually got more confrontational. Hey, I don't give a fuck who that is. Don't disrespect me. Don't fucking disrespect me. I'll come over there. Don't disrespect me. Fuck is you talking about? Watch your fucking mouth. Thanks to the roses. You guys are amazing. I love you too. Switch up is kind of terrifying. I am now fully convinced this man ain't real. I mean, by the way, he could just be shouting at a wall. There is no proof that there was anyone there. It's kind of funny to think that's true, by the way. I would actually respect him more if that was the case. But in fairness, people do actually regularly approach him. And honestly, it's only a matter of time until this does get bad. Everybody, everybody bitch, go home, man. Hold on, hold on. Put it away, 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 put it